this venue right here, we're right beside the beach. Any any waste that we're we're letting out there as a business is going straight to towards the sea. I think it's important to note that you know, we, we don't we don't have a takeaway here at, at the business, but that's not to say that we can't get involved with a, a scheme like this. The biggest change that we've made so far has been switching from disposable sauce sachets to reusable sauce bottles. So. Immediately for a business like ourselves, it, it's apparent, you know, we've got thousands of customers a week that, you know, we're putting thousands of soft sachets out there into the environments and into landfills. And, um, also, the, you know, the, the, the price that it, it's costing us as a business, is, you know, it, 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 it mounts up. So it's really a win-win for, for a business like ourselves to, to switch to something reusable. So at the moment we're using something like this and we've switched away from, from these little soft sachets. We're only using paper straws, but we know that that's not really going far enough as an intervention. So we're, we're trialing out um, glass straws. It's certainly something we're looking into is the possibility of offering a, a scheme whereby customers can actually buy reusable straws from us. Any advice to uh, business owners out there? It's, it's really just get involved, you know, maybe have a look at the practices that you're doing already. Look at, try and think of any ways in which you can make those practices more environmentally friendly in ways in which you can reduce the, the disposable items that you're using. And as you know, we get feedback from our customers, we're realizing that we can push it further and further and, and try to, to really push for a culture change.